Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we'll learn um, how to print oscillating series using while loop. So let's first start by Python shell. Uh, so open Python shell, I'm searching for it. This is Python integrated development learning environment. Open this and this will open Python's interpreter and this is it let's maximize the screen and now uh, instead of doing it on the uh, shell we'll open a new file okay so we'll click on file and new okay if you do not know how to do this you can watch my previous video i've explained this there okay in the first video and here we have the new file and in this program we'll learn how to print the oscillating series using while loop in python so what is the oscillating series let's first learn what is oscillating series Basically, the oscillating series is something like this 1 minus 1, then 1 minus 1, then 1, just okay. Here we made a mistake minus 1, here 1, then again minus 1, then 1, and minus 1. So we can go on like this. So let's suppose we want to print this 10 times. So this would be oscillating series. That means a positive and negative 1 alternately. Okay. So this is what we mean by oscillating series. We can print it horizontally or vertically. So let us print it horizontally. So we want the output like this 1 uh, or we want the output vertically only let's say 1 and then um, minus 1, 1 and minus 1 and so on. 10 times we want this. Okay. So how do we do it? And we'll be doing this using looping statement that is while loop. So let's start by creating a variable. Uh, so in, for this particular program, we'll need two variables. Okay, so I'll explain why we need two variables for this. So let's initialize both variables a, comma b as, uh, let's initialize them as 1 and 1. So we know that we can de declare variables in Python like this. So the value of a is 1 and the value of b is also 1. Now we'll start the while loop. So we write while, then space, a less than equal to 10 so because we want it to be printed 10 times okay so while a less than equal to 10 put a colon here press enter you see the indentation took place automatically and here we will print what do we print here let's print b and what is the value of b the value of b is 1 so 1 gets printed after printing 1 now the next time when the loop is when this the statement is executed we want to print minus 1 so now how do we change the value of b so that it becomes minus 1. So what we do is the value of b is currently 1. So if we write b is equal to b into minus 1. So if you see the statement, so what it means is b is equal to b into minus 1 means b, the, what is the value of b? 1. So 1 into minus 1. So now the new value of b becomes minus 1. So next time when we print b, it will print minus 1. Okay, and after this, we could have used the shorthand notation and we could have written it like this b into equal to minus 1. I have explained this in the operators video. If you do not understand this, you can watch that video for that. And here we will write, we want to increment the value of a. Since as I told you in the operators video, we do not have increment operator that is a plus plus or post increment or pre increment in Python. So we need to write it like this a is equal to a plus 1. Or we can use the shorthand notation a plus equal to 1. So this is it. After this, uh, we want to finish the loop. So if you want to indicate that the loop is finished, you just uh, end the indentation. Okay. So here we can write print and we can print done. Okay. And that should be it. So it should print 1 minus 1. Okay. So let's save the file first. Uh, we will save it on uh, desktop here. You can save it wherever you want, but I'm choosing to save it on the desktop. Okay, here, see the name of the file is aa.py and now we are ready to run it. So let's click on the run and run module. And if you see, it prints 1 minus 1 10 times and after that it prints done. Okay, so this is how we can print oscillating series in Python. So let me explain this again. What is basically happening here is we have taken two variables. One is A and one is B. B is actually printing the series. So the series which gets printed here is because of B. Okay. So this series is because of B here. Uh, so initial value of B is 1. So 1 gets printed. And then B becomes B, is B into minus 1. So B becomes minus 1. And A becomes A plus 
equal to 1 means a is equal to a plus 1. So a becomes 1 plus 1, 2. So after that it goes here. So 2 is less than 10. So the condition is true. So again it prints what? It prints b. So what is the value of b now? It is minus 1. So minus 1 gets printed. After that b becomes, now what is the new value of b here? b is b is equal to, this means b is equal to b into minus 1. So this basically means b is equal to b into minus 1. So now the previous value of b was minus 1. So minus 1 into minus 1. So b becomes 1. Okay. So that is why in the third iteration we get here 1. Okay. And the value of a becomes 3. So 3 is less than 10. So again it prints 1. The next time 1 into minus 1 becomes minus 1. So b is basically becoming minus. We are multiplying b with minus 1 so that it is positive and negative and the value of uh, and what is the role of a here a is controlling how many times b is being printed okay so a is controlling the number of times a loop is to be executed and the actual series is being printed with the help of variable b so this is how we can print oscillating series in python so if you like this video please click on the like button and do not forget to uh, subscribe to the channel estudy.in Thanks for watching.